What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Inky Man. And today, we're going to talk about... Uh, first of all, let me say this is just a Saturday edition of the show. I, I don't plan on doing this all the time, but I, I realized that this whole Brady, Belichick, I mean, Belichick, craft beef that's going on i just want to address it since i am one of the biggest fans of the new england patriots i think what's first let me say what it's all about at least my understanding of it so not too long ago the uh patriots traded uh garoppolo jimmy garoppolo was second string quarterback to san francisco the news that's coming up now is it was because of brady brady was threatened by garoppolo made some changes, used his power to get Garoppolo to be traded. Bel Belichick traded him, but not, traded Garoppolo, but not really just let him, you know, he wanted him to go to the team for just a hot second, but it ended up being a trade. Now, I could be wrong with that, but I've been doing a little homework. This is the summary that I got. <clears throat> and the thing that gets me about that is when Brady was, uh, was, uh, was suspended and Garoppolo was holding him down until he hurt his finger, I thought at the time, yo, Garoppolo, that's the man right there. You know, I didn't think of him as the next Brady yet, but definitely in the past because he was holding the team down amidst all the fake Brady comments and all of that. He came in, he did his thing, held it down until he got injured. Then we had the other quarterbacks who were coming in, um, which then proved to me that New England is a team. You know, it's like street football, street football where everybody can be the quarterback, everybody can be a running back, everybody can be the first, you know, a right guard, a tackle, whatever. Everybody can play the part. So to get back to what I'm talking about, I realized then that Garoppolo was about something. So when that trade happened and I heard about it, uh, I remember thinking, boy, that was a dumb move. Who, who are they going to put in if something happens with, with, with Brady? That was then. Now, with everything that's going on now, the news is, again, that Brady pushed Garoppolo out, used his power, and Belichick let him go. So now there's a big beef as to, uh, with Brady and Belichick, supposedly, there's a beef going on um, about basically who's more powerful or who's the face of, of the team. And it's, it's, it's disheartening. It's disheartening to hear about this. Especially around the time that we're out here kicking ass. You know what I mean? Because this could be the kind of thing that will not get us in the Super Bowl. Or this will be the thing that when the Super Bowl comes, all you're going to hear about is this. Definitely from this point on, all you're going to do is hear about this. When we play Vikings in the Super Bowl. Prediction. Prediction. So, I just wanted to just kind of put that on the table. That I, do, I You know, there's a few things I'm saying here. And there may not be a point here. This is more so a chance for you to go ahead and comment below. Let's get a dialogue started. But as far as you're concerned, who is the face of the team? Let's say that. When I was at work, that's what I was told is that this whole beef was who is the face of the, of the Patriots? Kraft, the owner? Belichick, the coach? Brady, the quarterback? And if one is missing, what's going to happen with the others? You know, personally, my answer to that is Belichick. Belichick is the man. Brady is good. I'm not taking it from him. Brady is good. But he's been crafted and molded. And he gets his instructions from his coaching staff, Belichick's coaching staff. And to hear, and it could just be a rumor, and if you've heard it, feel free to comment below. To hear that Belichick might be going to the Giants as a coach is like Harrison coming to us. You understand what I mean? A lot of this, like right now, I hope, and maybe there is, I hope there's a camera that's following the Patriots this year and everything that's going on. And if they make a movie or a miniseries or, or a 30 for 30 about this, I'm going to be the first one to watch it. I might even have a viewing party because this year's Patriots, with all this stuff that's going on, and the way they're up and down, coming off of a Super Bowl victory, and every game is a nail biter, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to see what's going on with them this year. But to get back to the major point, who do you believe is the face of the Patriots? Kraft, the owner, Brady, the QB, or Belichick, the coach? And anything else you want to talk to talk about, feel free to put it down here below. Y'all be good. Later. This concludes the Hey, see my name right there? Go ahead and type that in or snap this photo to join me on Snapchat. Hey!
Thanks for supporting me. And if you didn't already, see that head right there? Go ahead and press that to subscribe. And go ahead and check these videos out. You know, because why not? What else are you doing? Watch this one. Why don't you watch another? Later.